Okay, how do I, uh, how do I work this thing? It's just, uh, it's, and then now it's still not working. I just gotta turn around and uh, test it. Hey, how's it going? Now uh, you're still too close to my face. Uh, it's just this bit of a pain, but why not do it like this? Okay, this usual entrance and, uh, Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Husky's Ghost and welcome to this episode of Creep for True Gaming in Animal Crossing fashion. Yeah, if you take a look around you can tell this isn't my usual office. Well that's why I call it anyways, even though it's just my room, but hey, it's Animal Crossing. And I look pretty adorable in here. Uh, okay, well in a series note, this is gonna be an another creepy episode of this video game. Well, what could it be? Well, if we take a look here, it's about a painting. But not just any kind of painting, but a fake painting. And uh, it's kind of scary too, but if you pay attention to the intro, you might catch on. And congratulations if you did. But if not, let's see what it is. Now, if you have been playing the Animal Crossing series for a while, you would take notice at the start of New Horizons, the museum was missing one key factor, the art gallery. The gallery was a part of collecting when it came to this series, but thanks to the recent update of the game, we finally got the return of paintings and statues along with the character Red himself. In previous games, Red was always the same. He would have at least one legit item, while the others were fakes. And without the use of internet, it could be pretty hard to spot which was real and which is fake if you have little to no knowledge of his work. But the legit items are no different than the real life counterparts. However, if you are buying a fake, you are ripped off of your bells and stuck with the fake. It's a big issue and the reason why you have to be careful of this scummy little guy. In New Horizons, however, there is a new twist of the fakes. One of the famous being the Wistful Painting. This is a painting of a woman with pearl earrings looking at your direction. Usually the fake will have a color swap, but this time there's a different difference. I'll have you figure out what that would be. But there is another, and this one is very specific on timing. Just like with the alien broadcast Secret of Animal Crossing, it seems the wistful painting has a time specific secret as well. Even though, during the time of the making of this episode, all I can say is that there is a difference around the timing of 6.35 in the morning and afternoon. So, what is it that this painting is hiding? Well, if you got yourself the fake, wistful painting, something will happen. Let's see what it could be. Red would be messing with the Ouija board, hasn't he? So, now the fake paintings have some secret behind them, but the wistful painting... It's haunted! And this isn't a rare thing in the real world either. There have been reports of paintings following people with their eyes and doing spooky things. There's even one famous report of a painting that seemed to be singing within a church. So the fact that this has been carried into the world of Animal Crossing? That's creepy, and if you didn't know of this and caught a wind of it, I can't imagine the freaked out faces. In a game full of debt, depression, and also just animal critters. Who would have thought that there were so many creepy haunting secrets in the world of Animal Crossing? If you liked the episode guys, well you know the drill, until next time, I'll catch you all later.